Hello, welcome to Rad System Studio. My name is Tuzik. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate table fields or columns using custom field method. I am using Rad System Studio version 6.0.1. I will also be using an already existing project. The name is Sample04. On this project pages, we can see that this project has only two tables, which are the products and the users table. For this tutorial, we are going to make use of the products table only. Let's view this project on the browser. For better understanding, this tutorial will demonstrate how we can calculate the values of two table fields and then have the value displayed on a custom field. So let's get started. From the database table, please select a table of interest. Like I said early, I will be using the products table. On the table pages, I will select the list page. On the list page fields, here we can see all the fields from the table we selected. At this point, we are going to add a custom field. To that, click on this green button. We see a dialog box or card appears. On the left side of this card, we have the table fields listed as variables, which include the product ID, products name, products unit price, products quantity and product status. This fields holds values of each record looped. On the top, we have the code format options. By default it is set to the custom SQL field, but we can choose the template field option. Please note, when we choose the, the template field option, we can then write only HTML and custom PHP codes only. And also we won't get the option to set a field delay. For this tutorial, we will choose custom SQL field. This options allows us to type only SQL code, and that's awesome. The white space is our text editor. For this tutorial, we are going to multiply the unit price field by the quantity field. So, to choose any of the field, please select the field, and then double click on it. This will set the field to the text editor just like this. We can change from multiplication to addition or subtraction. Let's also wrap our code into brackets. This is basically optional. Once we are done writing the SQL expression, the next thing to do is to name it. Let's go on to do that. Starting with the field LA, I'm going to name it total all in small letters because it's an LA. On the next field, because it's the display label, we can go on to add more text to enhance readability. So I'm going to type total followed by the currency which is US dollars. Just like this. Once done, please click the OK button to continue. As we can see, we now have total as a field. Do you observe the search option for this field is unchecked? Yes, by default custom field options are turned off, but we can move a step to turn it on by checking it. Now let's publish changes and then preview it on the browser. When we refresh our browser, we can now see the total field has been added to our table column. Also observe the value on them are the multiplication of the unit price field and that of the quantity field. Now what else can we do? Well we can also change the position of the custom field using this blue arrow button. So let's move the total field closer to the quantity field. Just like this. Publish changes and then preview it on the browser. Beautiful. Now the total field is closer to the quantity field and comes before the status field. We can also make changes to a custom field. To do that, back to Rad System Studio. Click on this button. From here we can make our changes. I would like to change display label from total USD to total price. Once done, click the OK button, publish changes and then preview it on the browser. On the browser, when we refresh the page, we can see the total field has been renamed to total price, and that makes more sense. For some reasons, 
you may like to delete or remove a custom field, to do that. Select the custom field of interest and the click on this red button. Here you go, custom field removed. Please note, only a custom field that can be edit, remove or delete using this buttons. Publish changes and then preview it on the browser to see. Now, when we refresh the browser, we can see that the total price field is removed. Thank you for joining us today, most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you.